Hi guys, it's Noel Michaels. I'm back again. You know, I couldn't get this uh, this vacuum cleaner open, even though I took out all the screws and I did good. I did lefty loosey. I got them out. It won't separate. So I had a brilliant idea. I was going to use a flat tip screwdriver, but of course couldn't find it. A good substitute for that is a butter knife. I've got the butter knife in between the top and the bottom and I twist it a little bit. It seemed to make a little bit of a mark which I was worried about but I thought to myself if only I could keep it open and move along because every time I got out it closed again. So this was something I found. I was looking for something of the right width and I'll show it to you. I gotta lift this up. Oh no, I lift up the computer. That's much easier. Okay. So I opened it up with the butter knife and I stuck in one of those plastic things to keep it open. And my plan is to keep going down the line <laughs> and see if I could do this, get this off. Okay. So one worked, and it's a little bit open on each side, but I need to get these corners. Right, guys? So, oh, it's not moving at all. I can't slide it down. So I'm going to try on this side first, get my knife in there. Of course, it's already opened a little bit. Hopefully, that one won't fall out when I open it more. That would be not good. But I'm going to try to see if I can get. No, too far. Let's see if I can get another one in there. Okay, I've got two in. A new marketing idea for these things, right? Forget about your teeth. Fix your vacuum cleaners, guys. Fix your vacuum cleaners. I know there's some vacuum cleaner fixing guy somewhere who's saying, why doesn't she just bring it into my shop? I could do it in two seconds. And you know what? I have to say to him, sir, I'm thinking the same thing, exactly the same thing, but I'm going to give it a try. I, I always want to give it a try. I'm a problem solver deep down inside. Uh-oh, when I start doing this, this one is starting to wiggle. Don't wiggle, guys. Stay still. I feel like I should scotch tape it in place. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Luckily, I put the scotch tape where I knew where it was. So I didn't have to go searching too far for it. Yeah, I'm going to tape it. to the gray part that I want to remove. So it's part of this now. I'll do that with the other one too. Down the side, down the other side. Tuck it in. Hopefully that will work. Let us continue along the line. I dropped it. Okay, that's three of them. And nothing's getting looser, guys. Nothing. Oh, when I pulled it, it came out. Let's see. I didn't mean to pull it. I just meant to 
arrange the tape. It's squeezing it out. It doesn't want to hold in there. I feel the whole vacuum slipping, guys. <laughs> I hope there's not a big crash and a breaking of anything. All right. Slide. <laughs> I feel like I'm I love, I love Lucy. I think like. <laughs> I feel like I'm I love Lucy. Lucy Arnaz. She would do something like this. <clears throat> Where's my Ethel to keep me on the straight and narrow? I need an Ethel in my life, guys. Unfortunately, my good friend Summer, she's another Lucy. We've got two Lucys on the loose. <laughs> two Lucys on the loose. Sometimes I could be an Ethel. When I'm thick and straight. When I'm, you know, I got my good head on. Yeah, I could be another. But not today, guys. Now I'm a Lucy with two in and one fighting me. Well, I guess this is going to be an ongoing drama. When I was a kid, they had, well, they still have um, soap operas, right? Yeah, this is going to be the ongoing drama of trying to open the vacuum cleaner. Because here we are at almost nine minutes. Oh, no, seven minutes and nothing. Nothing good is happening here. I'm going to try a little more with the knife. Of course, it's a butter knife, so it shouldn't give me any harm. Keeping my other hand away up here so I don't cut anything. Ah... It is really not budging. It is as if the screws were still in there, and they're not. Maybe the vacuum cleaner can admit that. Cannot admit that the screws are gone. Vacuum cleaner, listen to me. The screws are gone. You can let go. You can let go. Loosen up, loosen up. Nothing. If I have to take this to a vacuum cleaner guy and pay $40 for him to open this, and then he just does it like, oh, it's so, so loose. Yeah, somebody loosened it. I'm going to be the one who loosened it. And I've got, I don't know what to do. Maybe if I just cut out this hair, and run it a little bit. Maybe that other hair will loosen up. It's a theory. It's a hypothesis. You do something, you, you think of an idea, you think of a hypothesis, and then you test your hypothesis to see if it will work. That's science, guys. That's science. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to cut this hair. See? You don't have to be a beautician to cut hair out of a vacuum cleaner. No, no license necessary. Of course, always make sure it's unplugged. All right. Let's try this. Huge, huge amount of hair. Trying to come out of the vacuum cleaner. Okay, there we go. This one is feeling like it's still attached, so do a little more clipping. Clip here, clip there, unclip. Oh, so, because it was near the brush part. Okay. I wonder if these kinds of videos are going to be successful, like that doctor who pops pimples. <laughs> it's disgusting, really, cleaning out a vacuum cleaner. 
but I'm on my way, another one down. I'm on my way to cleaning and organizing, and this is part of the process. I suppose if I were rich enough, I would just dispose of the vacuum cleaner and get a new one. Disposable vacuum cleaners. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Or ones that were easy to open. I don't even think I have the instructions to this one. This vacuum cleaner, I believe, was secondhand gift to me. It could be that I'm just borrowing it. <laughs> I think I don't remember. It could be that I am just borrowing this recipe. <laughs> and I don't remember. But I tell you, as much as I messed up their vacuum cleaner with my hair, I am doing my best to remedy the situation and to, okay guys, yeah, just pop the pimple, <laughs> disgusting. Ah, here we are. Here we are. You would, you would think that the vacuum cleaner would be more grateful. And I'm cleaning it. And it would cooperate with the removal of that gray panel so I could remove this whole brush piece and clean it properly. But no, it has no feelings. It's not grateful. It's just being obstinate about it. It's not allowing me to do what I need to do to make it all better. You know? I'm a mom. I like to make things all better. Well, guys, that's about as best as I'm going to do for now. I may have to call in someone with more tools. Or maybe it needs some lubrication. Maybe I need a little olive oil in here, but I don't want to mess it up and then have the olive oil go into something and then it's spreading olive oil all over my rugs. Why did I even think of that? No, no oil. No olive oil in the vacuum cleaner. Forget I ever even said that. I don't think that's a good idea. If anybody here is a vacuum cleaner repairman, I need your help. Maybe that's what I should make this video. Help! Help, vacuum cleaner repairman, I need your help. That would be great if somebody got in the comments and then sent me a video or made a video of the... Oh, maybe I could look on YouTube for a repair video. That's an idea too, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with me while I do my best to help this poor little vacuum cleaner. Hopefully, I'm going to run it a little bit and see if that makes any difference in the... Oh, should I do it now? Yeah, I'll do it now. I'll plug it in and I'll do it now. I'm going to leave it in this position, too, so we can see what's happening. Okay, I've got to get the plug. Not the plug, the cord and the plug. So I can plug it in and we can see. And I will try to keep my head away Keep your head away from any turning, moving parts. If you have long hair, guys, you could be get right, chopped right in there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's off. It's off. I'm gonna go plug it in. I'll be right back. You know what? I wonder if my nephew Tyler would like this video. <laughs> this whole series of vacuum. He loved vacuum cleaners when he was a kid. He loved vacuum cleaners. I bet you I'm going to have his mother have him watch my vacuum cleaner videos. <laughs> Dawn, if you're there, tell Tyler to watch these 
see what I'm doing wrong. He probably knows. He probably knows. Okay, hair away. I'm gonna tuck it in the back, my, my dress. There we go, good old school mom look. And let's see how we do. I, have, I don't have an exciting life. Look at this. Let's see. Oh, it did move a little bit to the side where I could grab some more out. My hypothesis. Not 100%, but it did make a difference. Yeah, guys. This is probably a very slow manner to do this. But definitely moved it a little bit to the side. Maybe centrifugal force. This is a science lesson, guys. Centrifugal force. <laughs> Got the hair to move a little bit. All right. That's all for now. It's enough of the disgusting hair on my vacuum cleaner. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a share. Oh, my back. Oh, maybe I should have picked up that vacuum cleaner. I'll go take a pill. Thumbs up, a share. Meet you back over here. And anybody knows a vacuum cleaner repair guy in Pennsylvania, Northeast Pennsylvania? Give me a comment. I'm desperate. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon.